Hello everybody, and <laughs> today we are playing Samudra? Samudra. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I don't know whenever I picked up this game, I think I just liked the look of it. It might have been after I finished playing The Last Case of Benedict Fox. Kind of similar vibe, or even after I finished playing Little Nightmares. I don't know what to really expect about uh, expect from this game. It's giving me sort of like Beyond Blue Abzu vibes, but we'll see what, it's, what the story is. I don't actually know much about this game, other than I've had it installed for a while and I wanted to give it a go. Um, the art style looks fun, um, and... Outside of the odd people saying, oh, it's boring. I don't know. I've got high expectations. You guys can, you know, see for yourself. And at the end of this playthrough as well, I'll obviously give my final thoughts in its own kind of standalone episode. So you guys can see whether or not you want to pass by this game. Um, and that way you'll know it'll be at the end of this playlist. Um, if you want to avoid spoilers. So I need to get rid of the sub goal hand. It's a bold choice to have the credits at the beginning of a video game. But in fairness, the soundtrack is pretty beautiful already. Although I'm forever wondering why uh, Minnie the Minx from the Beano wearing a diving helmet got cast into the abyss. That was a very British reference for everyone in case. Uh, hang on a minute, wait, wait a second, hello? Is that a whale or is that Cthulhu? Should I be worried about this? I'm getting kind of little nightmares vibes from this, not for any other reason than We've sort of got like a quirky-ish protagonist that's quite identifiable. Face mask, flashbacks. 2019, stay away please. Mm. In my head right now, I've got a Mad Max meme going. Uh, that's probably fair. Uh, hi. <laughs> I'm just dead. Okay. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm out now. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Where are you going? <laughs> Do I not taste nice? Wait a sec. I, oh, I wait, sir. I have questions. Um. Uh, hang on a minute. <laughs> I just got. I just got eaten, spat out, and then Houdini'd. I'm still trying to debate what the best way to pronounce the, uh, pronounce the name of this game is. Was it Samudra? Samudra? Am I missing? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I don't know about you, but I don't think gravity works like this underwater. I don't think that tire would be doing much. Maybe that's just me. Ooh. 
man, it's kind of, it's weird saying this for those who didn't, who, those who haven't seen it. I think it was an Attenborough documentary, right? They went as deep as they've ever gone before, like deep as you know, as deep as any human has been in the ocean. I think it was in Blue Planet Two, Blue Planet, Blue Planet Two, fantastic nature documentaries. And just if you're not even that interested in nature, just nice to chill to. If you smoke weed, you're probably gonna like it, cause. I can't imagine a better voice for nature documentaries than Richard, uh, Richard David Attenborough. Fuck, not Richard Attenborough. That fuck. Ooh, I don't like it. I think I just fucking died. Hmm. That is horribly gruesome. I don't really know what my options are for this. Ah! The cave, the cavern, the cove. That cave. Okay. Uh, <laughs> note to self, you cannot go that way. Um, but for those who didn't see, they're exploring the deepest parts that uh, humans have ever seen discovering new fish and they actually I think they named one after David Attenborough um, but they find alongside all these like brand new um, species of fish that they've never seen before just plastic bags rolling across the ocean floor and I'm getting that kind of vibe from this which is kind of sad because like so much of the I can't wait for us to get to sort of like Mars and the moon because I can't wait for there just to be loads of like Coke bottles and like mixed space Donald's, uh, you know, galaxy space burgers lying around and shit, you know. I don't like how you're looking in the background, but considering the fact you already spat me out once, I'm just going to assume that you don't really give a damn. Also, why did they just go into it? Excuse me, sir, can I borrow your nose, uh, angle light lantern? I always really appreciate films like that, or uh, films, games like this. Okay. Oh. I always, I always really appreciate games like this because like I'm sure that some of you don't share my particular views but as a geography student as someone who was a teacher for a short period of time and as someone who's always been very conscious of the role that nature has in my life it's something that I you know I've I've I I've tried to raise money and donate to charity as much as I can in terms of ooh uh, in terms of um, like shark conservation in the UK um, it's always been something I've been very conscious of yeah and so I always appreciate these games because it is a topic that is on that, that I'm aware of and it's, it's something that I'm sort of increasingly whenever I was teaching in England uh, as a teacher one of the things we had to talk about um, I can't remember the exact topic but it well, we basically ended up looking at the the Pacific garbage I think it was a Pacific garbage patch it's been a while um, but there's basically I, I was even I was unaware I, I studied geography for five years before deviating to human geography that was a university level um, I was unaware of the the piles of rubbish that are so large they attract more rubbish to them there's, there's patches the size of Texas so I'm always intrigued to see how how people manage to visualize these sort of issues. Abzu, fantastic one. 
Um, I can't work out whether or not this is the frame rate or whether or not this is the art style. I'm running at 59 frames, so I'm assuming it's just the art style. Um, Absolute's a great one. Beyond Blue is a fantastic one. It's very nature focused. Uh, very, very good. Um, there's also countless films, TV shows. Um, I don't like how we're walking to underwater Mordor, to be honest with you. Although those look like that looks like an oil fracking pi uh, platform directly above, above us. So that's intriguing. Um, One thing about this game so far is that I currently, like, I've not been given that many instructions as to how not to die. Which... <laughs> that's fine, but also... <laughs> just pressing A, uh, just pressing A and D does not necessarily a game make, and I'm too stupid to work out what it's trying to tell me with these puzzle pieces. Did I just, like, stop at some stage? We can go back, but I don't know what that would achieve. What happens if we like step out here and then go back? Will they fall, or is is, is it a trigger? I'm confused at our inability to swim. Hey, there we go. Okay, so it's just a quick time event that I failed. Cool, cool, cool. Let's not over complicate things, I guess, in this game. Um, I love the like just just taking a pause to appreciate the main character design. I really like it so far. It's it's not don't this is a really weird comparison, but it is giving me somewhat little nightmare vibes. Not because of um, you know the style of game or anything like that. But the main character is obviously very identifi identifiable in the light mode is the first game. You obviously got the yellow raincoat um, in this one. Same sort of thing. They, they, they've managed to give the main character... I'm assuming that they're not going to speak, but they're giving her quite... That's what I'd say. I was like, on the other side of that? Excuse me? Um... Even just this shot, right? And I, I get that I'm sort of being like, ooh, look at the connoisseur. Um, <laughs> I love the fact that they visualized the plastic bags. Um, a is jellyfish. That's quite interesting. But also, you get desensitized to it. You do. You don't see them. It's just there. Uh, that's something that I think is a symbol of how we look at the amount of trash. That's, even in my room, I've got plastic bottle. You know crisp bags over there the amount the amount of um plastic that uh that these the mighty jacks figures that i've been unboxing for the youtube channel have come in like it all adds up and i think that was actually a really really clever way of representing that with the jellyfish slash plastic bags in the foreground but they're just about you see them but you don't register they're there even these ones you're sort of like jellyfish plastic bag plastic bag jellyfish i think that's just really interesting and don't get me wrong, this is going to be a bit, a bit more sort of like highbrow of a review because I don't think there's that much. This is very much a narrative story and experience. It's not going to be like Apex where I'm barely able to, you know, aim at someone and my my, my entire commentary is just like, uh, there, you know. This is going to be more of like a breakdown. Uh, Never mind, I take it back, this is going to be a what the fuck is that sort of uh, game. And that is a very angry starfish, hello? What do they do to Patrick Star?
So there's the best story we're getting here, I think. <laughs> Pound the starfish. It's interesting though, because it seemed like in the cave there were like cog head people, and then we've got waffle head people, which I'm assuming is the divers, because it's got the sort of Victorian helmet, the lattice work on the Victorian dive helmet. Also, I'm almost certain this is the the end of a um the end of like a it looks like a fighter plane almost, like a World War Two fighter plane um don't know what that was about oh we climb hello oh we go up I reacted too slow, way too slowly to that. Hello. So we can't, can we climb that? No, it's only this. Only this we can climb. Okay, so that is that is a, a finger off, or like fingers off, just press spacebar if anyone gets stuck. Hello, je hello jellyfish. It's a sea bunny. Pet one sea bunny. Oh, that's cute. Alright. Uppies. Yeah, so the starfish is not a fan of us. At least that's what I'm getting from that. I said Grumpy Star. I don't like that. <laughs> Poor fish. Fish had a gas mask on, which is also very weird. It was a world war. Wait, hang on, there was a World War? That looks like two skeletons. That, that, no, that's a mother and child. Ew, ew, that's grim. Passenger plane. Duh, <laughs> I hate that. Why would you do that? Ew, you're gross. No more jump scares, please. Stab it. <laughs> I, wasn't, I didn't expect that to be a horror game. And uh, are these checkpoints? I feel like it's gonna be important. What the fuck? Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Let, 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 me, let me back up a second. Hang on. What, what, what was over here? What sort of underwater mining operation exactly was that? Gotta pet the sea bunnies, though. What's on here? God, there's so many different ways you go. Is this like dead coral? I don't know even what I picked up. I think it was trash, but <laughs> it was trash. Can I go back this way now? Oh, hi. This is gonna, something's gonna fall on me now. I'm really sorry, sir. Oh, ma'am. Uh oh. <laughs> I wasn't ready for Mario Kart. Uh, that looks like something that's going to try and eat me. Mm, not a fan of that. Not a fan of it rocking back and forth. Oh, why is it moving towards me?
But I'm in a situation. I don't know what the situation currently is, and I am concerned. What are you? I. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Did I need to get speed boosts from somewhere? Oh my god. Ooh. Run. That is a very large crab. Okay, bye. <laughs> that was strange. Funny. I want to pet the bunny though, Saj. Okay, so that's just a hidey hole. Um. Ah, I see. So this goes like this. Oh god, it starts turning. Oh, that's horrifying. Please, no men to meet me. Not the death that I was anticipating, but certainly one that happened. Ooh, yikes. Okay. Yeah, the starfish ain't a fan. Want to pet the bunny? Pet the bunny, pet the bunny. Bunny, 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 bunny. Hi, friend. I will make friends with all the bunnies I see. Oh, oh, secret. Yeah, I'm not going to achievement hunt this game because I can't be sacked, but at the same time, if there's stuff that I find that is just kind of there, well, it would be rude not to. No, oh, well, the bunny died. Yeet! Picked up some trash. There's so many different ways you can go. I wonder if this, this is sort of like multiple ending sort of scenario. I don't know. I don't know the purpose of this, the sunflower, or the sunflowers, what the fuck? The, um, the starfish yet. More dead people? Fun. <laughs> oh, great day to be in the ocean. Okay, there's another one of these fish. Oh, okay. I was... <laughs> it didn't seem to hurt me that much either. I just sort of, like, fell over. <laughs> it's the it's an empty child fish. If anyone knows that Doctor Who episode, you're awesome. But also fucking terrifying, dude. Okay. It's nice that they do the Popeye sort of like comedic sort of yeet. You know? That's always very helpful. You just imagine if it wasn't a fish, it would have like the, the legs going around in circles. Uh. Don't like that. Okay. That was horrifying. Creepy cuttlefish fish. Oh. Hey, ghosts? What the fuck? 
Hey, oh, uh, oh. Add some kind of sick symbolism there. I get there's a diving suit, don't get me wrong, but they don't seem friendly. What on earth is going on here? I mean, this seems like a good, uh, good enough place to leave it for this episode. If you guys are enjoying this, I'm just confused. Like, it's turning into a horror mystery... Uh, I don't even know. But I'll leave it here. Um, because... I don't want to just step on either. Because um, this is getting weird. <laughs>